My name is Alessandro Branco, I'm 23 years old and I'm from Porto, Portugal. Currently, I'm doing my Master of Marine Biology at Yavé University. I am living in harmony with my thoughts, inner goals and my purpose here in planet Earth. What brings me to this project is my connection and devotion to the underwater world, marine fauna and, of course, the element of water itself. I've always been living in a multilingual society and environment. Every time I share my passion for the sea, its creatures and my connection with the water, most of the people would not completely understand me and would look at me differently every time I would talk about sea topics related. Because of that, I was feeling sad and alone in my thoughts and I was finding it very hard to raise my voice and share my knowledge about these amazing topics. In 2017, I met Sarah and other important friends that shifted my perspective about myself. She was the first person to truly understand my ambition and goals. She told me, don't waste your time thinking about things that stop you from moving ahead. I believe in you. If you follow your dreams, no matter how weird they may sound to others, you will always succeed if you believe in them. Since that day, I can say that I regained my strength, my ambition and my motivation and my positive thinking opened so many doors and I started to have a lot of ocean-linked adventures, most of it as a volunteer, but you know, volunteering has many advantages. It gives you experience, it fulfills you. I went to the Azores to work as a guide on whale watching companies, uh, worked on a rehabilitation center for marine animals. I spent almost three weeks on a Portuguese Navy ship in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean recording cetacean sightings and I even worked on a zoo. I've seen so many species of marine megafauna and even helped taking care of four grey seals as well as a female common dolphin. How amazing is that? The experience that will stay in my heart forever. I also love to have my moments alone with the sea, if it is just by staring or diving. I like to go to the sea, I put on my wetsuit, fins and mask and I dive into this environment so different from the outside world. The ocean is the only place that touches me in a way that only a few people can understand it. When I dive, I focus on my breath and on all the marvelous things appearing to me. We all live in such a busy and stressful environment that we forget how important it is to disconnect from all of that stay still and listen to nothing. People can find this kind of peace in a mountain, in a forest, in a bedroom or even in a book. This is my spiritual bond with this environment. I belong there. I deeply rely on it to restore my body and my mental health. The ocean, despite its coldness, it's so delicate and so fragile to all the damages we're making and I feel like we're losing it. Since I was 10, I found my lifetime goal. I shall do everything I can to protect and to give a better future to the youngest generations. Also, I want to encourage as many people as I can to do their part, to slowly change their diets to a meat-free diet and to be aware uh, of the amount of waste we produce as individuals. Encourage them to live the this consumerism concept, as well as to find ecological alternatives. Water is life and we have to protect the water in order to protect life.